when we talk about cardiopulmonary diseases, every single disease process comes down to really four primary steps. Really comes down to four primary steps. We'll call it five because what you don't see on the screen right here is etiology. Now, etiology is the cause of a disease process. That etiology is going to lead to and cause anatomical alterations. That means the anatomical structures of the respiratory system are going to become altered. They're, good, they're no longer going to be normal. That is going to cause a problem. Those problems are going to um, present themselves as pathophysiological mechanisms. Just break that word down. Pathophysiological mechanisms, abnormal happenings. That's what it is. You see, pathophysiological mechanisms are nothing more than a fancy way to say how do these anatomical alterations and these structural changes, how do they affect the lungs? What's happening? And so what we see is, is that this happens. There, there's mechanisms that occur that are abnormal due to these structural changes. And that's what leads to the signs and symptoms that we see at the bedside. Here we see it stated as clinical manifestations. Just a fancy way to say the same thing. What are we seeing at the bedside? That is how those pathophysiological mechanisms are going to present. Your job is to put the pieces of the puzzle together to say, oh, I see signs and symptoms caused by this ultimately caused by these anatomical structural changes. And that is what leads us to our treatment plan. Now our treatment plan should address the underlying anatomical alteration. 